e day at the office was going pretty much as they all do. The dock was busy with all our international shipments and the office girls were giggling about the parties that they had attended that weekend. I had dazed off thinking about what it would be like to be single and not have to answer to anyone. I could do what I want and when I wanted to. It had been a long time since I felt I could do what I wanted without ramifications from my significant other. The dream didn't last long though. I was interrupted by my secretary speaking from my office door. Sir your wife is on the phone. Scarlett was a good secretary, but she enjoyed teasing me. Her timing had always sucked and I believe she knew it. She's not my wife. Just tell her I'm in a meeting. Scarlett turned around and headed back to her desk. My eyes took in every curve of her body. My thoughts about Stacy on the phone were briefly distracted by thoughts of Scarlett. God she's hot escaped my lips. Well aware of what she was doing, she turned and grinned and then proceeded to sit at her desk. Stacy he is in a meeting right now. Oh I know. Yeah he should be. Oh wow do you think he will like it? Yeah Tommy deserves it. Okay I gotta go have a good day. Then the click of the phone and the sound of typing. It was about time she got back to work. At around 2 p.m. I got up and walked down the long hallway to the break room. As soon as I turned the corner I saw Stacy standing by the soda machine. Stacy, look I told you not to come here anymore and that I needed time to think. Stacy replied in a calm manner, I know honey, but I needed to see you. About that time Scarlett walked in and I couldn't stop my eyes from following her across the break room. Thomas. I snapped back to reality and looked back up at Stacy. Look Stacy it's just not going to work. You need to learn your role in a relationship. I grabbed my soda and headed toward the door glancing one more time at Scarlett. It was high time I showed her I was serious. As I was walking out I heard whispers and some giggles but paid it no attention. I began to drink the soda Stacy had given me. A dizziness began to come over me. Soon, changes around become more and more apparent. It seemed that my very environment was changing around me. It started with the walls getting bigger, causing me to have difficulty focusing. I continued on my path down the hallway toward my office. In a matter of seconds, my clothes started getting loose. First it was my shoes, they seemed huge, then my pants fell to the ground. At this point I was beyond embarrassed because I heard giggles and a cynical laugh behind me. I was never the quickest one in the group, but I knew something malicious was going on at this point. I turned to see who was laughing and discovered it was Stacy and Scarlett. Hey, what's the matter Tom? Stacy chirped. I was scared now. I needed to get back to my office and at very least escape the embarrassment of the situation. For a moment my mind shifted back to the changes that seemed to be taking over me. What was going on with my body? I tried to continue down the hall, leaving my big shoes and pants behind. My shirt began falling off now too. It slid to the floor in line with the pants. Realizing that it was getting much worse I tried to ignore all the changes and focus on my office door. The door seemed so close but yet so far away. I was halfway down the hall and was sure I was going to make it. I didn't want the rest of the office to see me like this. I am sure they would all remember their boss in just a t-shirt and blue boxer briefs. This was all too much. How could this even be happening? I walked a few more steps before my legs seemed too weak to hold me. Soon I was not able to control them enough to walk. The walls got bigger again, but this time it was obvious why. I was now as much a pile on the floor as my jeans were just a few feet back. A sinister voice echoed down the hall, oh did he fall down. I knew it was Scarlet and that made it all the worse. I tried to stand back up but I just wasn't strong enough. I knew I was going to have to crawl if I was to make it back to the office. At this point it didn't matter to me. I just had to make it to the office so I could shut and lock the door. Gazing back, I saw Stacy and Scarlett looking at me from the break room laughing. I tried to crawl as fast as I could. It turned out to be in vain, as I got about another three feet down the hall when my knees caught on the undershirt and I fell chin first into the carpet. It must have been quite a sight, my butt was in the air and my t-shirt under my knees with my chin on the floor. Sure my chin hurt, but my pride hurt much worse. Looking back I see Stacy and Scarlett walking towards me. Stacy has a stick of some sort in her hand. Well well well, little man where are you going? Stacy said in the most childish manner I had ever heard. Scarlett giggled and replied, I think he is headed to his bathroom in his office, as she pointed to my now wet boxer briefs. Shocked as I followed her finger to my briefs that were now a dark blue. How did that happen? I didn't have time to worry about that though. I needed to get away. I turned my head forward again when I felt a weird sensation. My briefs were getting thicker. I looked back at them and they went from the dark to a white. The material was starting to grow in the back and between the legs. I watched in horror as I realized that a disposable diaper was replacing the manly underwear that was there before. Stacy seeing the look on my face laughed and said, there's Scarlet now he has his bathroom with him everywhere he goes, they both laughed and continued walking towards me. This was it I thought. It's now or never I have to do this. I pulled up my shirt and crawled as fast as I could down the hall. Every movement made the diaper crinkle. I felt so childish. Don't run from mommy and your sitter Tommy. He's going to get away from you Stacy, chirped Scarlet. Suddenly I felt a huge weight in the back of my diaper and the diaper bulge. My legs couldn't hold it. It felt like a bowling ball back there. It pinned the diaper to the carpet. 
I tried and tried to crawl but it was just too heavy. Looking up towards my office, now only three feet away still it seemed like a mile. I sighed. Unable to move now, sitting in a diaper and a shirt I felt trapped. I looked back at Stacy and Scarlet. Stacy was standing over me. Otami's diapy is too heavy for him's huh? I pleaded, please Stacy what are you doing to me? Stacy reached down and I felt her hands go under my arms and chest. I was scared and felt a warmth spread across the front of my diaper. Just as she was picking me up the waistband snapped in the back. I let out a yelp from the surprise only to feel something entering my mouth before it closed. It covered my whole mouth. I knew it was a pacifier, and that I should spit it out. Yet somehow it was soothing to me. I began to suck as I felt Stacy's finger holding it in. Stacy began to explain what happened. Well Thomas I'm going to tell you what's happening. You have been very mean to me the last couple of years. I have seen how you look at Scarlet. Did you know her and I have been friends for longer than you and I? Remember when you sent us to that convention in San Francisco? We met a wizard there. I know you don't believe in that but look at yourself. I felt her rocking me and painting my diaper. He gave me this wand and told me it would control you however I wanted. You know I've wanted a baby for a while. Now I have one. She paused to let it sink in before continuing. I wanted you to be able to think like you used to, and from time to time I'll even let you talk. She ran her finger over the pacifier and touched the corners of my mouth. Would you like that huh? Ah, I bet hims would, I cringed at her tone with me, you better get used to it sweetie pie. You're going to be my baby and Scarlet here will babysit for you too. I didn't think it could get any worse. I realized how wrong I was when Stacy moved one finger to the waistband of my diaper. She put a finger in. Ah, uh, see you're already being a good Tommy and making pee pees for us. Patting the front of the plastic, here let's get you changed. Stacy carried me into my office and laid me down on my desk. Scarlet laughed look at that big boy desk. It does make a nice changing table doesn't it? Scarlet opened the closet in the office to reveal cases of disposable diapers and all kinds of onsies and other baby clothes. Those were definitely not there this morning. Hmm we need a diaper, some wipes, oh yeah and some baby powder, she began inventorying the items as if I was a real baby. Oh look the movers are here. They come quick these days I turned my head and saw three guys with dollars coming in and moving out all my office furniture. Just as they entered I felt a tug in a plastic tear. No way, she wasn't doing what I think she was. She wouldn't. She was. I was getting my first diaper change. Stacy untapped the other side and started to pull the diaper away from my skin. It was cold and suddenly I peed again. Stacy just shielded herself with the diaper but all the pee went on my stomach and rolled down on my desk. Ladies you're going to have to clean that up before we move it. I'm not getting baby pee on me said one of the movers. Stacy and Scarlett both laughed loudly as I began to realize the fate that I was to endure. Scarlett then handed Stacy the wipes and the powder. Stacy held my ankles and lifted me off the wet diaper and used the wipes all over. Scarlett put the new thick disposable under my bottom and Stacy lowered my legs. A would look at his whittle pee pee. Isn't he cute? chimed Stacy as she powdered me all up. I blushed, fitting back tears. Honey it's okay, you will be just fine. Yes you will she said as she taped up the new diaper. I'm gonna tie ee ee you Tommy. Chirped Scarlett as she started tickling my feet. I couldn't help it I was ticklish and started to giggle. It was weird hearing my new laugh. Soon my pacifier fell out of my mouth and I was outright laughing. Stacy looked down at me and said, see Tommy this isn't so bad is it? Then she picked me up, Scarlet can you grab his diaper bag and oh don't forget his teddy he will be wanting that soon enough. Stacy turned back to me, now Tommy, it's warm outside so I'm going to leave you in just your diapy. I tried to protest but all that came out was, G-A-A-A-G-A ma. A small grin crossed her face as she put me up against her breast. I was exhausted and truly beaten at this point. I laid my head on her shoulder as she carried me out of the office. Looking over her shoulder I watched a mover change the name on my door to, Mr. Soggy Bottoms. I let out a small sigh as Stacy paraded me through the office. She made sure to hold my hand and make me wave bye-bye to all my former employees. As we exited the garage I focused on Scarlet. This time it wasn't the same. She was a sitter now complete with my diapers and teddy bear. I lifted my head off Stacy's shoulder and looked up in her face. I wanted to just say Stacy. Instead my lips parted and Mama echoed in her ear. One year later. Here I sit in a playpen in my once private office. I love my blocks and my pacey. Mommy always works hard but makes sure she checks me for wetsies as she calls them. I take many naps now, but it's okay. I have a mommy and sitter that love me very much. E day at the office was going pretty much as they all do. The dock was busy with all our international shipments and the office girls were giggling about the parties that they had attended that weekend. I had dazed off thinking about what it would be like to be single and not have to answer to anyone. I could do what I want and when I wanted to. It had been a long time since I felt I could do what I wanted without ramifications from my significant other. The dream didn't last long though. I was interrupted by my secretary speaking from my office door. Sir your wife is on the phone. Scarlett was a good secretary, but she enjoyed teasing me. Her timing had always sucked and I believe she knew it. She's not my wife. Just tell her I'm in a meeting. 
Scarlet turned around and headed back to her desk. My eyes took in every curve of her body. My thoughts about Stacy on the phone were briefly distracted by thoughts of Scarlet. God she's hot escaped my lips. Well aware of what she was doing, she turned and grinned and then proceeded to sit at her desk. Stacy he is in a meeting right now. Oh I know. Yeah he should be. Oh wow do you think he will like it? Yeah Tommy deserves it. Okay I gotta go have a good day. Then the click of the phone and the sound of typing. It was about time she got back to work. At around 2 p.m. I got up and walked down the long hallway to the break room. As soon as I turned the corner I saw Stacy standing by the soda machine. Stacy, look I told you not to come here anymore and that I needed time to think. Stacy replied in a calm manner, I know honey, but I needed to see you. About that time Scarlett walked in and I couldn't stop my eyes from following her across the break room. Thomas. I snapped back to reality and looked back up at Stacy. Look Stacy it's just not going to work. You need to learn your role in a relationship. I grabbed my soda and headed toward the door glancing one more time at Scarlett. It was high time I showed her I was serious. As I was walking out I heard whispers and some giggles but paid it no attention. I began to drink the soda Stacy had given me. A dizziness began to come over me. Soon, changes around be-